what diseases can be studied and has been studied using zebra fish to answer your question there is hardly any disease that has not been modeled in fish yet even parkinsons even parkinsons even cocaine addiction wow has been modeled in fish mm-hmm. what is the risk for you and they addicted to cocaine just a few days back i don't know if you have read this sharks of the coast of brazil were found to be positive for high doses of cocaine fish has been used <sighs> even to model insomnia the general perception people feel that fish do not sleep they do sleep it's just that they do not have eyelids right. so you do not realize that they are sleeping you can also study infectious diseases mm-hmm. corona corona also yes incidentally i have a project right now funded by indian council of medical research people died in corona because of the hyper active immune response they didn't die because of the viral infection over stimulation over stimulation of the immune system that led to something called cytokine storm the hyper active immune immune response is what we are going to study mm-hmm. another important example of an infectious disease i could give you is studying tuberculosis in fish uh, it's called mycobacterium marinum which is a natural infectious agent for fish so instead of studying or instead of handling tb bacteria you can handle marinum marinum will not infect human beings equivalent in fish equivalent and the kind of granuloma that is formed when a person is affected by tb is the same kind that you would see in the fish interesting coming to genetic diseases mm-hmm. right from your diabetes to your parkinsons to alzheimers obesity obesity non alcoholic fatty liver disease alcoholic fatty liver disease the third thing comes about your toxic effects adult trends preservatives colorants so many of them which are supposed to be carcinogenic right. Right. so these things can also be studied very well. uh, right. one good thing about the fish is the histological changes that you see in a cancer development the pathological changes at the cellular level if you see a zebra fish tissue and if you take a human tissue they are identical so gene which is supposed to be suppressing tumor growth in human the same gene has the same function in fish wow so if you remove that gene from fish mm-hmm. that fish will end up with cancer wow yes. interesting yes.